Former President Trump spoke to me before heading to court today. We talked about issues Democrats and President Biden are hitting him hard on, abortion and attempts to overturn the election in 2020 and the recent primary in Pennsylvania. He won the primary, but Nikki Haley attained 16% of the vote. Are you concerned about that number? And what do you say to those voters? All of those people are going to come to me because what, what's, first of all, what's their choice? Former President Donald Trump dismissed Nikki Haley's performance in the Pennsylvania Republican primary. She is not presidential timber. But the Biden campaign has already put together an ad targeting them in this crucial battleground state. Another issue Democrats are attacking the former president on, abortion and the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. What's your stance on women's reproductive rights? Now it's all up to the states, so the states will make the decisions. And one by one, that's exactly what they're doing. And uh, there have been some big surprises, Kansas uh, and Ohio. Recent polls show former President Trump with a slight lead over President Biden in Pennsylvania, but he's still trying to sway some suburban women voters and independents. And some voters say his refusal to accept the results of the 2020 election ruled him out in 2024. There have been other close races and men have said, listen, for the betterment of the country, we're going to move on. We're going to accept the results of the election. Would that have been the right course of action? You have to have fair and free elections. And if you don't, you should always have the right to challenge them. If you couldn't challenge elections, you wouldn't even have a democracy. You wouldn't have elections. Now, the Biden campaign communications director, Jack Doyle, tells me Donald Trump's presidency was, quote, disastrous for Pennsylvanians. He's responsible for overturning Roe v. Wade, paving the way for extreme abortion bans across the country. Barbara Barr, News 8.